I cannot tell you how many times I've woken up and just been a zombie, but I wanna have a great breakfast and I don't wanna have to stress about it. And today I'm making one of my favorite no stress breakfasts, a Walla Walla frittata. This is caramelized with a little peas and mint. It's gorgeous, all right? We're doing this in the Scampan CTX skillet. This is perfect for the job because you can use any utensils on it and nothing will stick. Actually, the other day I forgot to put a little butter in the pan, it still came out. So if you're looking to watch your weight, it's perfect for you too. All right, so we have a little caramelized onions in the pan, really simple. I'm gonna throw in some peas, frozen or fresh. Frozen peas are actually pretty great. Just gonna toss that through, all right? I'm gonna grab a little chili just for some heat. You know, wake yourself up in the morning if you don't want it. Forget it, all right? Beautiful. Now this pan is almost mindless. You don't have to think about it. Anything is gonna peel off of it. I've made everything from caramel to any type of sticky sauce you can think of, and it always cleans up perfectly. It's also dishwasher safe, and the handle itself, extremely ergonomic. So I can do this all day long. All right, so I'm gonna let those go. I have some cream and some eggs. I'm just gonna crack it on the table here. I always crack on a flat surface so you don't get the shell in there. I'm gonna whisk this up, and I like a good amount of cream. I want a custardy, kind of creamy frittata, not one of those hard, kind of uh, dry ones. All right, so whisk that up good, break up all the eggs, and while this is going, I'm gonna do a big pinch of salt right in there. You can see it's really pale with the cream. That's how much cream you really wanna get in there. Fantastic. One more egg to break, beautiful. All right, let's check our veg. Amazing, that's how dark you want those onions. Gorgeous, so just kind of spread it out. Beautiful. I'm gonna get my egg mixture and right in the pan. Perfect. And the second this hits the pan, just give it a little mix, just so all those ingredients get evenly distributed. So if you are using metal utensils, don't worry about it. This pan does not scratch. It's PFOA free, so you don't have to worry about what's going into your food. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna let the outside of this just set so it has a nice crust, and in about two minutes, we'll throw it in the oven to finish off the top. So if you look at the outside of the frittata, it's crispy, it's set, it's actually the first sign that this frittata is ready for the oven. We're gonna throw on a couple of fresh herbs, just a little bit of some chives, just mince really, really fine. Okay, I'm gonna take about half of these, save the other half for a little garnish. Again, 7 a.m. in the morning and I don't have to garnish, but I'm a chef, this is what I do. All right, so I'm gonna gather these up, a little bit over the top, fantastic. Mint, mint and peas are like peanut butter and jelly. Great combo, okay? Roll this up, just one slice through, sprinkle that over the top, fantastic. Now we wanna give this thing a little creaminess and a little bit of acid. Goat cheese is the perfect thing to add. So I'm gonna just crumble off a couple of pieces, just break them in my hand, awesome, and just kinda scatter the goat cheese everywhere. Fantastic. This is gonna take about seven minutes in a 350 degree oven until the bottom is set, the top is set, and it easily comes out of the pan. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check and see if my frittata is set. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, a little shake of the pan, you can tell right away. Now this is the part that everyone gets a little bit nervous about, is it gonna come out of the pan? And because scan pan is so reliable, again, you can be a zombie and bust this one out, all right? Perfect, look at that. I'm gonna grab a big plate, slap it right on top, and just quickly and confidently, oh yeah, that is perfect. Nice golden brown, only the scan pan is the non-stick that's gonna give you that caramelization you want. I'm gonna finish it off with just a couple of more of the mint, a little bit of the chives, just kind of scattered around, and just cut into that, and you can see it's just barely set, very custardy. Let's just grab one slice here. Oh, look at that. The Walla Wallas, the goat cheese, the chili. That is a beautiful way to start the day. Hey, guys, if you want to make a frittata like this, check out the Scampan CTX skillet.